Anyways, that was a hot mess intro, but my hair looks cute. Hey y'all, and welcome to the Vloggy Vlog Vlog. I just made myself a good old matcha with a shot of instant espresso because today is going to be a very, very long day. I'm about to clock into work, but I just wanted to check in with y'all and say, hey, today's agenda involves working, of course. I have a social media strategy, real, real strategy, like short form video strategy meeting um, as well. And then I also have a presentation that I'm doing later today at the Frisk Art Museum. So I'm really excited about that. So it's going to be so cool. It's going to be so cool. That presentation is going to be all about uh, me and my life as a content creator and natural hair, of course, for this great exhibit. And I can't wait to share more information with y'all, but I need to clock into work. OK, I need to clock into work. This is so good. And this makes me feel like I have a problem, but we're not going to address that right now. We're just going to go ahead and clock into work and get this day started. So cheers. <laughs> that was a hot mess intro, but my hair looks cute. So we're going to ignore all of that. Honestly, if I'm being real, my hair is not looking like how I want it to look, especially with me about to have to present later today. So hopefully she figures herself out. She's very voluminous, but she still has definition. So she like, she's cute, but I really wanted like big, big hair for this event. And I should have, you know, scheduled it right. You know, all the math equations, I'm trying to figure out when I should wash my hair to be able to get the, the day three or day four, day five hair that I want on event day. But I really washed my hair two days ago. So didn't do the math right. But my scalp was screaming at me and I needed to wash it. So I wasn't gonna put it off just for aesthetics sake, if that makes sense, because my scalp was screaming at me. It's screaming at me. But anyway, let me get to work. <laughs> It's funny how you always say that I don't pick up my phone But when I hit you back, you don't pick up So I forgot to tell you all what this social media strategy meeting is about so i'm actually taking my lunch to take this meeting because a longtime family friend reached out to me to discuss uh my short form video strategy to actually build their business which is so cool that someone actually like reached out to me about like my strategy because i don't know sometimes as a content creator you can kind of doubt yourself and get in your head um about you know doing this as a form of income and to see someone validate that and actually want to seek me out for my advice to get started to grow their own business and their brand is pretty freaking cool so i'm about to warm up some leftovers we had ground lamb and mashed potatoes and sweet carrots the carrots are gone but i'm just gonna eat some mashed potatoes and the ground lamb and we had ground lamb because it was like barely any meat in the meat department but they had ground lamb so we decided to give it a try i do not recommend i did not really like it it did definitely have like a little bit of a gamey taste to it which i wasn't a fan of but i'm trying not to waste food so we're gonna eat it anyway hello hey destiny <laughs> hey how are you doing i'm doing good so you want me to talk social media yeah, because um, you are the social media guru. <laughs> so, 
So I just clocked out for the day. Sorry I didn't bring you all along too much on my work day. It was pretty much like all admin work. Um, today, no real meetings um, because my manager is currently out of town right now. So I wasn't doing too much of anything. I'm just catching up on like emails and stuff like that. Um, but now, since I clocked out, I need to practice my script over a few more times for my presentation later today at the art museum, which I'm so freaking excited excited about I like this is this is so cool I've never been asked to do a public event like this before I have done similar lives on other creators pages but never something like this so I am super super excited I am nervous I am stressed but we shall get through this um, so let me go ahead and practice the script a couple times and take you all along to the art museum so you can see everything going on they said that I can film the whole thing so I'll probably clear off this SD card and set you all up so you can see the presentation as well element of hair. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that 
shine is not an indicator of health. Some people just have naturally shiny hair, so it's not that you need to be adding more oil to your hair or anything like that. It just doesn't have a natural shine to it. I started growing out my hair in 2014. Um, after watching a ton of YouTube videos, my mom was really into watching black hair content on YouTube, whether that was um, looking into how to stop breakage or how to uh, grow um, hair or how to maintain healthy, relaxed hair at the time. So I started going into that research rabbit hole as well and I decided to grow out my hair. I started to grow out my hair in 2014. I think that was the uh, summer before my junior year, actually, in high school. So I was trying to figure out how I was going to wear my hair, my transition hair to prom, which was a mess. <laughs> my mom did a, um, did a really good job, though. She ended up straightening my hair without causing any damage to the relaxed um, roots. <laughs> but it did end up being puffy by the end of the night, which couldn't be helped. Uh, but then I ended up chopping off the rest of my relaxed ends in 2016, the summer before college. I was ready for something new and I only had a few more inches of relaxed hair to trim off. So I ended up locking myself in a bathroom door, didn't tell my parents what I was doing, of course. And I cut off the rest of my hair and decided to wear my fro and everything like that in freshman year. I was so excited to wear my fro. And then in 2018, when I did um, decide to do uh, content creation, I was, wasn't really consistent. Um, but later down in 2020, yeah, 2020, I started uh, picking up on my content and working with brands and seeing how they interacted with folks like us. We are starting to see people of the black community getting paid more and having more opportunities. And I like the direction that I see us going in that regard. Um, but we still have brands out here that are perpetuating myths like black hair does not grow by getting um, people to promote hair growth oils or hair growth products. Thank you. using the leave-in just to uh, make her hair a little bit more damp. But when I am using the mousse, I think it's really important to remember you're not supposed to be rubbing your hands together like that. Uh, you're not supposed to crush the bubbles. Um, and the bubbles help with that volume or that movement when you take down the twist later um, tomorrow morning. Or really what I like to do is sit underneath the hooded dryer. Um, So we just had a great dinner to celebrate um, the presentation. But wasn't the art exhibit so cute in the elevator? I loved it. So the exhibit was called Salon Noir and it was by Elise. Ooh, I'll have to put her last name here because I don't remember her last name. But Jonathan invited me out. So thank you so much, Jonathan, for inviting me out um, to present today and share uh, my <laughs> um, perspective of natural hair media representation as a 
content creator and sharing a little bit about the essential elements of hair care. I hope you all enjoyed all those little clips that you saw of the presentation and of the exhibit and we had a great little like sushi day afterwards but I just came in <laughs> to tell y'all <laughs> <laughs> I just came to tell y'all bye and you know I'll see y'all in the next one um there should be another vlog coming very very soon so I will catch you all in the next one bye y'all <laughs>